Hello guys, this is Cackling Panda, and I'm bringing you a Blox DTC game here for the Tactical Series. Blox DTC is made by uh, Pepsi Dog, a uh, pretty well-known map maker. He also made a new map, what's it called? It's like Trains or something. Uh, anyway, yeah, this is my Tactical on Blox DTC. Uh, for some of you who wanted to know, I will be going over maps again uh, if I have a new strategy or if I felt like I could do something else, explain some more on one thing or another, like maybe one time I'm going to do a rushing on another map, you know, etc. And I'll do that tactical wise too. Um, anyway, for blocks DTC, what I usually do is I grab my uh, three diamonds, always grab diamonds. You're never going to get anywhere if you don't have diamond armor. So, um, and then I run up and I check and I see where exactly everybody is because I want to make sure that nobody's rushing over and if they are rushing over kill them and then rush over myself so anyway, as you can see here I'm like eh, all right okay I see these two guys they only have leather armor it's like okay not too bad not too bad and I was like you know what uh, I'm just gonna rush it I'm just gonna rush it here and it's dangerous obviously because it's one wide bridge I could easily get shot off and he hits me here and I'm like Ooh, uh, the hit sounds are broken, by the way, right now in 1.4.4, which is when I, was, when I am recording this. So so then you jump around behind this guy, hit him from behind. That's always fun. I always feel like James Bond when I do that. So then I'm like, okay. So there's two strategies I usually employ here, and here's the um, the most, like, the one where I, you usually get you die and get shot off. So anyway, you just pillar up the side here. Hopefully nobody sees you. Always shift when you're pillaring like this, because you can, uh, and it hide your name plates. So then I'm like, uh-oh, uh-oh. What I should have done is I should have... Yeah. Uh, but anyway, he sees that block that I placed above me. He comes down here. I use the golden apple. And I think I'll be fine, but I'm... But uh, this is stupid of me. I shouldn't have... Uh, shouldn't have rushed into this. Because I was down a heart already. So... And I, I, I can't personally block it. But if you could, you probably would have won that. But I couldn't. So that was... That was stupid. I should have started tunneling even more and then blocking up behind me. So... He didn't get to me, so I could have recovered some hearts at least. So, and I went up to him like that to try to get like push him behind me so he'd miss a few hits, but it didn't work out. Um, and I was jumping also because I wanted to try to get some crits on him. So I grab my diamonds again, and I see him shooting over there. So I was like, "Oh, there's somebody over there. You know, why not check it out?" Luckily, he hits him off. Like, I was gonna go up to my other crafting table, but then I saw these, so I just did this. So, uh, yep, make the diamond armor and the diamond pick because you need a diamond pick to. Obsidian, or to mine out the core, not Obsidian as the core. Um, yeah, let's see. This is a rushable map, but eh, not very likely, I would say. Especially on your average DTC, box DTC game. Not very likely at all. See this guy, you know, kill him, why not? And I rush into him, and I could just kind of keep a pace where I stay right inside of him, so that way he doesn't, He it's hard for him to hit me. That's a little neat little PvP trick. <laughs> I just look at this guy, he's so funny, he's all peppered up with his arrows. This is right as 1.4.4 came out, so. That's, it's funny. It's like, ooh, oh, let me get shot here. And I try to make a safer way for us to get over here, so that's what I'm doing. Because I see that we kind of have the advantage, so I'm just pressing the advantage that we have right now. But I'm not rushing in there, because there's three diamond guys there. Uh... <laughs> I see this guy above me, I'm wary, and I see him, and I'm like, okay, well, I can't just let this guy go past without doing something, so. But luckily he gets hit off, so that's fine. Oh, the reason you don't see too many people, especially at the start of this match, is because it was right after a server restart, uh, as you will see later on, the, uh, the amount of players uh, heats up, or increases, not heats up. <laughs> wrong, wrong choice of words right there. And I see a blue guy go over there, if you can see that. Uh, so I know that it's kind of time to start going, to maybe start rushing over there, but this guy's in my way, so I'm trying to, uh, make way. So yeah, I see these blue guys, I'm like, okay, I can probably sneak by them. And you'll see the second strategy I employ here, which is, um, is I actually go down into the mines and block my way off. So I know there's somebody going to be chasing me, so I try to block my, my way off here. Uh, I totally fail here, by the way. But uh, I see he's coming after me pretty hard, so I rush, run, 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 run. And if that doesn't work, you just do another lap doing the exact same thing. 
So you just block him off, give yourself some time advantage, then you rush to the other side again, and now there's already blocks placed there. So what you can do is you go down the path they mine out, you block that up, block up even more, and you have even more blocks placed. So it's like doubling your thing without getting hit, and wow, look at that. Now there's tons of stuff here for them to get by, which is great. This gives me time to do some uh, nice little stealth tactic I like here in the mines. What you do is you mine out these, and then what you do is you empty, your, grab those blocks, put them on your hotbar, and then you shift, always shift when you pillar, and you just pillar up here, and you're good to go. Because they don't know that you pillared up anywhere, and it's G, G, well it's not GG, but you got away from them. It's the sneaky little trick. So you kind of go around in that little loop there, blocking up. Um, if they don't know what your strategy is, usually they just all follow you. None of them go back the other way. So you block up, you give yourself some time, you give yourself enough time to get down there and pillar up, and they don't know where you are, and you're right under them. And you can see I'm pointing at those guys there. So. Alright, I'm going to speed this next section up a little bit until I break out into the end here. So, hold on. Okay, so I'm almost here. And I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's a red name there. So I know, and I heard the chest. So I know that I'm near the end. I'm near their spawn area. And as you can see, I break out into the other side of their base. So this is what I do, is I tunnel under their base, uh, do the loop thing, tunnel under their base, and then I just make a nice little staircase out the back. I have this tunnel all set up and a nice staircase if I ever, if I die. Uh, I mean, obviously that does happen sometimes depending on who's defending and if there's even more people defending or off, uh, offending or offense. And I always shift here because you never know when somebody's looking up at you. It's always dangerous. Um, but this is dangerous right here because they can see you through here. So. Uh, sometimes I sprint, but I always pillar up to get out of that view, and then I make another staircase. Oops. Because I want to, in case I die, I want to make this easy. So this is uh, an interesting part, and an important part coming up. So as you know, I'm pretty darn close to their, to their core right now, which is the ultimate objective here. So I'm on top of this, and I see there's two guys down in there. I see two names down there, which is important, because you don't know exactly what they're doing. I see they're kind of going out onto the core there. I'm not peeking over because if they turn around they can see me which is really dangerous because if they see me obviously they know I'm an enemy so but as you see here I pull out my bow and I try to I think they're close enough to the edge that I'm gonna be able to hit them off and they're gonna fall to their ground and die and it's gonna give me just enough time to boop get the core so as you see here I draw back my bow and I shoot and I get a couple shots off oh if that other shot oh so close I hadn't missed that I missed a couple of shots, so I'm like, oh, great. Now he sees me. I have a diamond guy after me. So I watch his name here. I'm like, oh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? So I see his name there, and I see him. And I see him going around back, and I'm like, okay, this is my time to strike. I keep an eye on him because he knows I'm there, and this is my time to strike. I jump down. I probably should have looked behind me in case there was somebody else, but I didn't uh, because I was just going for it. But anyway, I know he's going around the back to see how I got up. And this is the perfect opportunity to go mine it out. And there you go. That is how I play Blocks DTC. Or this is how I, one of the ways I play it. And I'm like, GG. And there he is up there. And he's like, oh, so stupid. That's a face palmer right there. He's like, I went around to go look for him. And during that time, he mined out the core. Uh, thank you guys very much. I will see you all in the next episode. Bye, guys.